yield back. Thank the gentleman. I now ask unanimous consent that H.R. 1234 be placed in the record at this time. We now go to our one and only witness for this evening. John Cossigan is the Commissioner of the Internal Revenue Service. Pursuant to the committee, all members are to be sworn. Would you please rise to take the oath and raise your right hand? A little higher. Thank you. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you will give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. Please be seated. Let the record reflect. The witness answered in the affirmative. You're the only witness. You certainly uh, have some explaining to do. Take such time as you, will, you need. Thank you, Chairman Issa, Ranking Member Cummings, and members of the committee. Thank you for the opportunity to appear before you this evening to provide you with an update on recent IRS document productions to Congress. The IRS, over the past year, made a massive document production in response to inquiries from Congress relating to the investigation of the processing and review of applications for tax-exempt status as described in the May 2013 report from the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration. This committee has received, as noted, over 600,000 pages of materials redacted to protect taxpayer information. The tax writing committees have received over 835,000 pages of unredacted materials. As of last Friday, the tax writing committees already had more than 27,000 emails from Ms. Lerner's computer account and more than 18,000 emails from other custodians' accounts for which Ms. Lerner was an author or recipient. I understand that this committee and the other investigators were provided, beginning last fall, with copies of emails indicating that Ms. Lerner had experienced difficulties with her computer three years ago. So it should be clear that no one has been keeping this information from Congress. The IRS expects to complete its production of the remaining Lerner emails in unredacted form by the end of the month. As soon as possible thereafter, we will complete redaction of those emails and produce them to this committee. At that time, this committee will have all the emails, 43,000 of them, that we have from Ms. Lerner's computer and email account for the period January 2009 through May 2013. In addition, this committee will have 24,000 Lerner emails from other custodians' accounts for a total of 67,000 Lerner emails. 